but if I'm going to rate this as like this is the only Tekken game you're going to be playing now for five years, it wouldn't be Tekken 4 for me. But the real interesting question is, like, if you took games like, for example, Tekken 6, Tekken 5, let's say the modern Tekken games, uh, where, where's Tag 2? And maybe Tekken 4. And this is what he had done in his poll, and I thought it was really interesting. He listed only these games and excluded, like, Tekken 1, Tekken 2, and he said, which one is the worst out of these? And I actually had a, he stumped me for a little bit. I was like, yeah, which one is the worst out of these ones? Because the bar is actually pretty high. These games are pretty damn good. Like Harada and the team, they've always been dropping like fucking killer games. Uh, Tekken games, uh, although we can say, you know, the games have problems. In general, I think Tekken has always been a quality series. So yeah, he stumped me for a bit, and I was like, God damn it, yeah, which one of these is the, the worst game? And immediately I started, so if we were to list these, like, which, which one is the worst? May, maybe we'll just do that. And instead of Tekken 5, yeah, I think we'll put DR here, which is the better one, I would say. Tekken Revolution, I don't really count, because that was a, you know, garbage, free-to-play testing phase for Tekken 7. Uh, I'm gonna exclude that one. I don't see it as a legit entry to the series. But these are the modern ones, right? Yeah, we're, we're gonna try and rate these. So, what's the best modern Tekken game, and what's the worst one? And I think the worst ones here, I'm actually gonna say that it's quickly, for me, going to be these. I think Tekken 7 is the best uh, Tekken game to, to date. And I know a lot of people have opinions here and they're like, Nah, it's Tekken 5 because that was perfection, it had so much single player content, awesome CG endings for its time. I mean, it still stands as, as one of the best looking PS2 games, in my opinion. It did everything correctly, and like the sales reflected it, it ended up at like 8.5 million sales. Which was to be the record until this game. But I do, I do think that Tekken 7 is better balanced, and it's more fun to play. And yeah, Scenario Campaign kind of fucking sucks and is a dud, but it does have better customization than this game. Uh, the soundtrack is perfection in Tekken 5. Yeah, to be honest, this game <laughs> largely does, does things better, but I think the gameplay is better in this game, and it's a more balanced game for sure. But this one doesn't have Akuma, though, so that, that, uh, it doesn't have Eliza, it eh, doesn't have Lucky Chloe. But again, I gotta say, like, yeah, if I'm stuck on an island with only one Tekken game to play, I would still be playing Tekken 7 over Tekken 5. And to be honest, something we all forget to mention is that these days we all play online, right? And let me tell you, there is online in this game, but the netcode, it's like press a button, and about two days later your attack comes out. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Tekken 7 if I'm ranking these. And then at A, I'm gonna... Put Tekken 5, but the reality is that this one is also S. But I'm gonna put Tekken 7 ahead of Tekken 5 DR. Yeah. Uh, and again, you know, as, as in terms of balancing, like, Dragonov is useless in this game, but in this game, it's like, I shit, I'm not joking when I say that half his attacks are twice as slow as they are in this game. And that's not, that's not, uh, 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 Joe Biden. That's not hyperbole. That is true. His, uh, ha all of his strings, they move in slow motion. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> the first iteration of Dragonov, it's just a question mark. But it's funny, but like, 20 years later, today's iteration of Dragonov is still a question mark. So it's, it's, it's funny how it goes with Dragonov. Still praying, praying! 
But they do a great job with him in Tekken 8. He looks great. No, I, like, the design is the best ever, the visual design. I'm just... Please fix the gameplay, right? I think Dragunov mains deserve that. Um, the few, or quite plentiful, actually, that still stick with their guy. And that's very commendable. Uh, but so yeah, I think that's how, how I would rate those. And that, now it gets really interesting, because now we're gonna put one of these at like mid-tier, and now we're gonna have to decide which modern Tekken is the shittiest one. And this, uh, this, this is difficult. This is very difficult, because the reason is I can actually rib on these games and praise them, but for very different reasons. Like, if you're somewhat familiar with my content, you'll know that I hold this game in very high regard. And it's because of a very gritty nature of everything to do with the atmosphere and presentation of that game. It's more gritty and grounded. And I really love that. And the music is also a little bit more sophisticated and mature. Love that. The storytelling is more sophisticated and more mature. Um, honestly, this is this game does everything about atmosphere perfectly, uh, and the characters look great. And it introduced like the characters talking, and boy oh boy, did they explore that! Everyone has like fifty five different wind poses, intros. Men much more than they have today. And they were quite well animated for the time. So it's like, oh my god, it did so much, so well. An interesting elevation with the stage is very creative, very original. But the gameplay is nowhere near as rewarding as it is today. There's like no movement whatsoever. It's like you're, you're stuck in mud. You can't move. And balancing is an absolute joke. And it's such a shame. It, this game could have been like, oh my god, it could have been so much. So that's tough, tough to rate. Um, and then uh, Tekken Tag 2, I absolutely despise. It has the... Everything that's great about modern Tekken is in this game. It's just that it's a big movement into only use launchers. You don't really poke or do anything worthwhile in this game in the neutral. You just move around, and here's my big launcher into... You basically died. Uh, that's the game. Uh, and that's why Mishimas were so popular, because Electric is the best launcher. I have super strong movement. Boom, Electric, tag in a character, kill you. Um, so, I hate the the way uh, general gameplay works in this game, and the rage damage, I despise that stuff. Uh, <laughs> they just happen to be like, I mean, pretty much the best character. It's like the cheese characters in the end, like, it felt like they came out on top. So, I, yeah, people might shoot me here, but, but I'm gonna rate Tekken 4 higher than Tag 2. But, but again, the gameplay, again, I have to be realistic, if I'm stuck playing one of these two, would I actually play Tekken 4? This, this is so hard. I have more respect for this game, but if I'm stuck playing the fucking game for five years, would I play Tekken 4 or Tag 2? I'd probably, perhaps, play Tag 2. The gameplay is too dated and unrewarding in this game. Yeah, uh, it's gonna boil down to that for me, I think. I... Personally, I think they achieved more with this game. Yeah, in Tekken Force mo mode. They achieved more with this game than they did with this game, in my opinion. But, if I'm stuck playing the game for five years, story mode's gonna get real old. And the gameplay, as flawed as it is in this game, is still better. So actually, I'm gonna do this. No, no, no. No, wait. No, God, oh my God, I don't know how to rate these games. Yeah, Tekken 4, I'm not playing that. 
Oh my god, so I might rate it lower than these two? I, I guess I would. You would. As much- no, no, Zion, this is true. As much respect as you have for this game, the gameplay is too outdated and it doesn't work. The walls are completely broken. They didn't do a good job with the elevation. Balancing is a joke. It's Jin and Steve. They beat everyone. And there's no movement. And to be honest, what we love about Tekken is the movement. If you remove the movement, you get Tekken 4 gameplay. So no, I, I gotta be honest. If, if I'm talking about overall presentation, single player content, etc. And how impressed I am with what they did with the game. It would go higher. But if I'm going to rate this as like, this is the only Tekken game you're going to be playing now for five years, it wouldn't be Tekken 4 for me. It just wouldn't. And the yeah, the gameplay, th these games have better gameplay than Tekken 4. Yeah. As dumb as the gameplay is in this. Uh, so Tekken 4 goes down. But then, if I'm talking about Tekken 6 and uh, Tag 2, I would put Tekken 6 above Tag 2. Even though Kazuya is a joke in this game, it was 720p in arcades, but when it came to console, it was a broken, upscaled 576. With like, uh, jagged edges everywhere, shitty resolution, uh, broken character models that had broken edges everywhere, graphical bugs everywhere, looked like crap compared to other PlayStation 3 games. Balancing was sort of a mess, but did it have some cool music? It did. Did, uh, did a lot of outfits really shine? In particular, Jin, I think, in his uh, head of Tekken Zaibatsu coat. Yeah. Um, a lot of characters had cool new animations and attacks, yes. A lot of charming stages I fought. Uh, snow stage where you actually made footprints in the snow. Rustic Asia with the pigs, uh, I loved that stage. Gargoyle's perch, I liked that. Azazel's theme and his stage, his chamber. They really tried with scenario campaign, but it sucked, I thought. Oh, it did have, it did have co-op though. Um, yeah, uh, like, yeah, I think this is how I would rate them. I think Tekken 7, in my opinion, comes out on top as the best Tekken game to date. It's the most fun to play, I would say. After that, I would probably be playing Tekken 5. Even though the game is so old, it's just, it was, I don't know, flawless for its day and age has a lot of good single-player content, and I do really enjoy the gameplay a lot in that game. Uh, yeah, it was and quite well. It, now, the balancing is a problem, but it, it's still all right, I think, when I compare it to these games. Uh, and yeah, and then I would put Tekken 6. Uh, mostly... The lackluster visuals uh, is a problem with this game. And the, I find the balancing, to be honest, to be more annoying in this game than it is in this game. Uh, but they're both pretty flawed. Uh, the real reason this game is so fun and why uh, pros and all OGs will talk so highly of it is because the movement is so fluid. Uh, the movement is really cool in Tekken 5. Uh, this one is more restricted. Uh, but still pretty refined gameplay in Tekken 6. I was very, also very liked by pros. Uh, and then Tag 2, for obvious reasons that I've uh, spoken about many times. And then, I'm, I'm shocked, I'm, I'm putting Tekken 4 at B here. But again, if, if you were talking about, like, the legacy of these games, and how much they, uh, how good they were as a package when they dropped, Tekken 4 would probably be S. Uh, because, you know, in the, in, in, the, um, in the minds of a casual, you know, who's not like me, an uber nerd dissecting and analyzing every single little point of gameplay, characters and gameplay mechanics, 
Tekken 4, you know, it had everything they wanted. It had a really cool story mode, Tekken Force, uh, team battle, extra modes, uh, practice mode, and everything to do with the presentation, as I mentioned before, was great. And the wall um, stage interactions, everyone loved that when the game dropped it. And it, again, it felt so real and grounded. Um, so yeah, for people who really were uber nerds and wanted to do Tekken tournaments, they didn't like this game. They preferred Tag 1 due to the gameplay. But to everyone else, you know, this, this was a really cool game. Although as Harada told me, people really... Uh, missed the, the CG endings. Uh, in Tekken 4, they did like five minute long, uh, slightly upscaled in game graphic endings, and people really missed the CG endings. But uh, he did tell me that a lot of enthusiasts like myself liked the character building with the longer endings, giving them time to actually interact with one another. I loved that. But he said that the casuals actually want, they want the 30 second CG endings with some clever little humor gag. And I think that's what you're going to get again now in, uh, well again, we've seen it multiple times since then, but in Tekken 8, you know, every character will have a story chapter. For example, Kazuya with his sneaker collection, or June will be with uh, Jin and Kazuya and we're gonna argue about something, so... But I think Tekken 8 is going to be the best of both worlds. Like, I think we're going to have a chapter, CG endings, and then we're going to have a big, the big, ooh, ooh, the big, um, uh, Never Realms uh, style story campaign. So Tekken 8 is looking real good. Uh, but yeah, that's how I would rate them. And I'm a little bit interested and curious in how other people would rate them. But anyway, I, f I hope you think that was interesting and I hope you'll have a great day. Take care.